Hello there, it's that time of the year where tropical travel makers in the Atlantic can cause all sorts of havoc with the longer range aspects of forecasting uh, because they can inject a lot of energy into the system. Ex-Hurricane Ida, well that's partly responsible for why we've got this dry, fairly warm weather at the moment and delaying the Atlantic lows from coming in and it's likely Hurricane Larry will have a, a similar impact on our weather this weekend and into next week as well. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a few moments time but first well some parts of the UK have seen no rain for at least two weeks now if not more so it's very dry in some places a lot of dry ground out there away from the southeast where it was quite wet this summer and on Wednesday again a lot of dry weather expected across much of the UK. Subtle hints of a breakdown though we've got high pressure off to the east at the moment we've got this area of low pressure down towards the southwest and so we're drawing in this very warm air on this southeasterly wind from the nearby continent so getting close potentially to 30 degrees once again in some parts of England in particular but the change comes with this area of showery rain pushing into southwest England. This could have some thunderstorms mixed in and this will gradually through the day on Wednesday push a little bit further east across southern England into parts of Wales, perhaps Northern Ireland being affected, even parts of northern and western Scotland getting some rain uh, as well on Wednesday. But again a lot of eastern areas will be dry on Wednesday, warm if not hot with some hazy sunshine. Now this whole band of showery rain and some embedded thunderstorms will continue to lift northeast uh, through Wednesday night and into Thursday as our area of low pressure drifts further north. So by Thursday daytime it's more of a story of sunshine and showers really for much of the UK. Now as you can see most of the showers are going to be focused for central, western and northern parts and actually towards the southeast we may not see too many at all on Thursday. They'll be more isolated down here. So it's certainly possible some parts of East Anglia, maybe even the southeast, may not see very much rain Wednesday night and may miss most of the showers on Thursday and still keep that continuation of a dry theme going. But elsewhere, the risk is some heavy showers and thunderstorms and perhaps some local flooding, especially where these occur over urban environments. Now for the weekend, things start to get a little bit more complicated. We've got this low pressure over us, but actually we have to look a bit further afield to see what's going on. Now this is a map of the jet stream level. So we're talking many miles, six, seven miles above uh, the surface of the earth looking at the wind. So the main jet activity here across Canada coming out over the Atlantic. This little feature down here is Hurricane Larry. Now the winds in hurricanes are strongest at the surface so they don't chart particularly well on this uh, diagram here but I just wanted to show you the progress of Larry over the next few days passing very close to Bermuda here just to the east of Bermuda and then by the end of the week getting caught up in the jet stream merging with the jet stream but what happens here is these tropical systems carry a lot of warm energetic air and by bringing all of that warm air from the tropics northwards it allows the jet stream to become more amplified and allows this high pressure to build ahead of it to the east of it which is what we're likely to see through the course of the weekend so as we saw with Ida we are likely to see high pressure building closer to the UK again from the west as we go through the end of the week and into the weekend. Now still low pressure close by for the time being and still fairly slack, more of a northerly flow becoming established. It will turn a bit cooler this weekend and there will be a lot of cloud around, some showery bursts of rain in places too. So not uh, promising a dry weekend because there will be some showers dotted about but overall with time high pressure will be building in from the west. But you can see that flow of air around it coming in from a north or northeasterly direction so temperatures will be coming down day by day as we head into the weekend, getting closer to, if not a little bit below average uh, by the end of the weekend as well. So becoming drier in the northwest, but still the risk of a few showers even in the south as we go through the course uh, of the weekend. Now by the early part of next week, the high pressure is likely to shift a little bit to the northeast. Uh, so for the beginning of next week, this is the typical sort of pressure pattern. Now the exact shape and orientation of this high is still yet to be uh, nailed on so the subtle features here will shift in position a little bit but overall high pressure is likely to be near a northern Britain keeping many areas here dry with quite a bit of sunshine in sheltered western areas. Further south we've got lower pressure uh, down across Iberia which will be pushing some showers and longer spells of rain across France and these could at times get into southern parts of the UK so this is still the uncertainty this bit here about how far north uh, this activity may get. In either case it's likely we'll have a northeasterly wind coming in off the North Sea so as we've seen in recent weeks there could be quite a bit of cloud towards the east coast maybe some drizzly showers from this even if we don't see this uh, more organized bits and pieces of rain coming up from the south. So in general the beginning of next week driest in the north the greater risk of some rain or showers but not nailed on and it's possible if the high is a bit more built in even here it could end up being a bit drier uh, so we'll have to see a little bit closer to time. 
but later on in the week, midweek onwards, that high is likely to shift a little bit further towards the southeast. And so actually this pressure pattern becomes very similar to what we've got right now with the high to the east, low pressure to the southwest and this southeasterly wind developing from the continent. So we may find later next week we go back into the sort of conditions we have right now. That is something a bit drier, uh, turning warmer again as the winds turn to the south. Uh, and then later on, the greater risk of some rain showers and maybe some thunderstorms pushing up from the west and southwest later on in the week and into the weekend. So uh, still some uncertainty because of Harry, uh, Larry out in the Atlantic and any further tropical disturbances that may come along. But overall, this is the most likely scenario as we go through the course of next week. So again, there will be quite a bit of dry weather potentially, especially in the northeastern side of the UK. And the further southwest you are closer to this low, the greater the risk of uh, some rain or showers. And as I say, temperatures may warm up a bit next week as well. So this is looking at the ensemble guidance for the air mass temperature. This is one mile above the ground at 850 millibars. So not the temperature at ground level, but a mile above the ground. And you can see here this black dashed line, that sort of average for the time of the year. So as we're going through September, that typically starts to get a little bit cooler, but very much well above average right now, which is why it's very warm. By the weekend, notice this dip below the black line here, so that it will kind of a bit cooler than average. Sunday, Monday, maybe into the beginning of Tuesday as well. So there's a hint of something a little bit cooler here uh, by the end of the weekend. Then uh, later on next week, the lines come back up above average. So there is that signal there for potentially some warm weather to return later next week uh, with temperatures responding quite well as well. And then after that, it becomes very messy. There's a lot of spread here. So not a great strong signal. It sort of trends near average, but realistically, it could be anything from below average uh, to above average later on in the month. But just a hint that perhaps even some warmer weather could return again later on next week. As I say, there has been a lot of uncertainty in recent weeks because of the tropical activity going on uh, amongst other things. So the best advice really is to keep up to date with the forecast by calling our team of forecasters here at WeatherQuest. We're available every day, six in the morning, three till six in the evening, and we'll have uh, all eyes on this latest information coming in. So don't make this the last forecast you see. By all means, give us a ring over the next few days and we can firm up on the details about how next week may be playing out. Now beyond that, into the latter part of September, this is the current thinking, but I will stress there's a lot of uncertainty and therefore low confidence uh, in the forecast, but a general continuation of a similar pattern with this higher than normal pressure over Scandinavia to our east, lower than normal pressure to the west and southwest of the UK is very similar to what we are in at the moment and what we're likely to see next week as well. So the greatest risk of wet weather generally will be towards the west and southwest and the best potential for drier conditions the further northeast you are uh, across the UK. And it'll fluctuate from day to day, but that's the general vibe uh, of the weather. So you can see the wettest conditions over Ireland here with the green colours, whereas we've got pockets of brown down the eastern side of the UK where things are likely to be drier. Uh, than average. But I will say, don't take these graphics literally because there is still quite a bit of uncertainty. And that signal there, if we are keeping more of a southeasterly flow a lot of the time, then it could well continue to be warmer than average uh, for the time of the year. And then as we head into early October, signals become very weak indeed. So it's hard to pinpoint anything in particular other than to say hints of lower than normal pressure to the north of the UK, where low pressure often is and higher than normal pressure to the southwest where high pressure often is. That's why we call it the Icelandic low and the Azores high. So if both of these features are more intense than normal, generally that would imply quite an unsettled period to change the month into October. And so overall rainfall may well be above average across some parts of the UK, particularly in the northwest, but it is a long way off and I'm not putting much uh, faith in this at the moment. And with a westerly flow off the Atlantic, temperature should be near or perhaps above average. But I will leave you with this. Uh, this is for the same period for late September from last week's data that came in at the end of last week compared to the latest data we're using in this video. And you can see the big difference in lower the normal pressure over Scandinavia compared to higher than normal pressure that we're now seeing. So there's been a big flip in this data and this is likely to continue I think through late September into early October because we are at the peak of the hurricane season and they can cause all sorts of havoc as we've said in the longer range forecast. So things are likely to change from how they look right now. But in a broad sense it is pretty warm to start off this week gradually turning a bit cooler towards the weekend but as we do that we will see an increasing risk of some showers or maybe even some longer spells of rain in places as well. And then next week, generally speaking, the northeastern side of the UK, driest 
towards the south we may see a greater risk of uh, some showers in places and again it may turn a bit warmer later on in the week and very low confidence really for late September so we will try and firm up on those details over the next couple of weeks or so and for the day by day forecast you can keep up to date as ever by following us on social media. Bye for now.